Besties, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. Today we are doing another cooking vlog. So I did a video on how to bake in an oven in my on this channel. In case you missed it, you can watch it here. And someone asked me whether they can bake in an oven, uh, in an electric oven, without a baking tin or a baking tray. And I thought to answer them in the video. So here is how to bake in a in an oven without a baking tray. Let's see. Besties, for this simple recipe, you're going to need two bowls. One to mix dry ingredients, the other one to mix the wet ingredients. We have milk, eggs, one lemon because I'm making a lemon cake. That's the biggest lemon I've ever seen. Imagine, look at this you guys. Oh my god, that's too big. And then I have one and a half cups of flour because I didn't want to make a big cake. I have baking powder in this tin and then I have sugar and I have margarine and I have the baking tin that we are using today. We're using a sufuria to bake. So for the person who asked if they can bake in an oven without a tin, you can use a sufuria. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to mix the ingredients as you can see in this video and since this is not a how to bake video I'm going to run through it very quickly with a time lapse. After mixing, I grate my lemon zest onto the butter because I was making a lemon cake. Enjoy. <laughs> Since we are using a sufuria, ensure that your sufuria is heavy enough. Don't use a very light one because the cake is going to burn before it gets ready. So we are going to line uh, dust the cake, the, the pot, so that the cake doesn't stick after it is ready. So we use margarine around the sufuria and then you dust it with flour to make sure the cake comes off after you cook it. You can use your hands, ensure your hands are clean like mine. They were clean. If you don't have a silicone brush, don't worry. You can improvise these things at home and make your children or your family a very sweet cake. Enjoy. I'm thinking you were made for me. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. I put the greased and dusted pot or sufuria in the fridge just to pull it down to ensure, and ensure the cake comes off easily. And then now I'm preheating this oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes or so. If you have your oven with higher heat, you can preheat at a lesser time to ensure that your cake doesn't burn. show you how you guys imagine the lights went off before the oven uh, finished to preheat so oh my god that's so frustrating but they're back i hope my butter is not destroyed let's continue the process <laughs> I 
because I had set the preheating time to 10 minutes, I have to move my timer button to 40 minutes to ensure I give the cake enough time to bake. After 30 minutes or so, you come and check your cake. Use a toothpick or a knife to cut through it. If it comes out clean, the cake is ready. You don't have to wait for the timer to stop. If your cake is ready, you can remove it from the oven. Okay, and at this time, my cake was ready and it's time to remove it from the oven and enjoy. Oh my god, the cake is ready. If you want to avoid this kahil thing, you make sure you, you make like a hole at the center so that you don't have this hilly stuff. And I made sure to use the normal baking tray so that we can compare. And I show you it cooks just the same way. Ensure that when you are baking, you, you keep checking. You don't just allow. Like my oven today did not, the time wasn't counting. If you preheat long enough if you have enough heat it's not going to take 45 minutes so don't you know don't blame yourself i think recipes are just for guidance but you can work your way around your own oven and see how it works so that is the cake for the sufria and that's the cake for the pan no much difference if you don't have this baking tin the loaf pan you can make your own cake using a sufria okay let me know what you think about this video let me know what you think about the results how do you bake your own cakes Today I had challenges, you guys. The power went off before I made, before I finished preheating, and the butter had to stay on the counter for a long time. So those were today's challenges. If you are watching me up to here, let me know where you're watching from so that I can send you a hug. Today's hug goes to today's hug goes to Mercy that lives in Tarakanidi. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. Remove the cake from the pan. You're just going to turn it over like this. On a, on a tray or a flat surface and then this is hot ah it even came off oh my god Woo! that's your cake guys it looks so good it's well done let me know what you think about this video if you like it give it a comment give me a sweet like and a sweet comment let me see in my next one thank you so much for watching time to sort out all the fights yeah. to sort out all the lies oh baby yeah oh, no. there was a part of me that knew that and still i'm caught by surprise oh. i thought you'd always be mine oh, yeah. i guess our dreams fell asleep there's no passion in the comatose yeah. baby going down 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 yeah. baby going down 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 yeah. tried so hard to stay afloat yeah we keep moving like the river goes yeah. baby going down Down, 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 down. Yeah. yeah. And I thought it's time.